but I got into contact with someone from Canon customer service and uh, yeah, um, they had to escalate it to uh, their supervisors or whatever, uh, to a higher level apparently. It's, I don't know what the issue was, but to my specific repair, they had to, because the form wasn't working for me for some reason. Don't know if it's something wrong with my camera, I don't know, <laughs> but something's up with my camera. <laughs> I mean, it, obviously it's broken, but like, there's something wrong because when they tried to fill in my details online it wasn't letting them uh <laughs> file my camera in for repair so they had to escalate it to their superiors but it got approved now and they've sent me a repair form so uh i, I got to send it to this address i probably printed it too big <laughs> when have you ever seen a letter have the address this big i'm gonna do it anyway whatever so uh, yeah, I got to fill in my details and uh, the file description and uh, whatever. Warranty's obviously gone, so I don't know how much it's going to cost because there's two issues. I dropped it down the stairs of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. <laughs> it only went down a few. It, I dropped it on one step, then it slid down about three or four steps. So because of that, the lens. You hear that noise? Let me try and zoom in. Sounds like a damn razor blade in a, in a barber. It's okay going back, but yeah, you can visibly hear it when you play the footage back as well. And the second issue is the screen. Uh, there's meant to be screws holding it together. One side is fine, the other side, screws are completely gone. So the screen's on the verge of like slipping away completely. And uh, obviously I don't want that, so. I've got to find the packaging as well. Like I've got to package it in bubble wrap. I haven't got any of that. So hopefully the post office has those things to sell and I can send this away and hopefully it will be back soon because I've got other things planned. But uh, it's a great camera. There's actually a replacement camera. I bought this camera originally in 2016. Then that one actually broke and it was under warranty, but they couldn't fix it. So they sent me a second one. <laughs> they, they gave me a voucher to buy a second one. So this is that second one from uh, December 2018. The original one was summer 2016, and the second one is now broken. Um, not the first time the screws fell off either. But uh, yeah, if, if it was just the screws, you can buy the screws on eBay. But the lens, that's a problem. So I'm going to send it straight to Canon because Curry's couldn't repair it. Because apparently you got to buy it there, even though they repair TVs that are not bought there, laptops that are not bought there. But if it's a camera, it has to be bought there for some reason. So I got to send it. I got to post it to Canon or go there myself. Um, the one closest to me is in Hertfordshire, just outside London. Takes like half an hour to get there by car. <laughs> I don't drive, um, so I'm just going to post it. So uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. Look stupid here, but on the email it said I have a option: set a repair limit or re request an estimate. But if if they if you request an estimate. If they send you the estimate and you disagree with it, you have to pay, like, you, you, there's a charge of £30, pounds, £31, pounds, which is quite interesting. Um, but honestly, I have no idea about how much camera repairs cost. The screws, I'm sure, are cheap. But the lens, the lens is, a you know, is part of the camera. It's part of the main body. So, like, opening the lens, zooming in, etc., it causes a noise. But obviously, it's within the camera. It would probably, it sounds expensive. I put £100, the camera's, the camera cost £560. Even six years later, it still costs that much. Um, it's a great camera, of course. There's a, even another version now, there's a Mark III. I got the Mark II. Um, but I don't know how much it costs. I don't know if this is a stupid price or not. I, it might cost more than that to fix, I don't know. But I put £100 limit. And uh, if it's within £100, they won't, con they, they would just, charge me whatever if it's above 100 pounds they will email me and say actually it will cost this much to repair it so uh yeah <laughs> i spent a lot of money this year uh and i am getting paid from work of course uh, youtube's not paying much uh, from my other channels um but you know i've got my wages coming in um but i'm spending an alarming rate of money especially going on holiday as well uh soon to australia this is another setback uh but you know, if I work for the rest of the year, work some overtime, I'll make all the money back. But that's not the point. The point is, I'm spending too much. <laughs> Even though I'm, ma I'm making more than I'm spending, I'm still spending too much. So, uh, yeah. I will learn not to drop my camera next time.
<laughs> now Saturday morning, I wanted to wake up at 9am, well I wanted to wake up earlier than that for a 9am opening of the post office um, and it closes at half 12 on Saturday. Um, it's 11 o'clock now, I did wake up at like half 9 but uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just me in it, I'm, I'm just me. I, I sometimes, I don't know, in, in, it's, it's in the morning it always takes me out to get going, like first is getting out of bed. And then sometimes I start walking around. I don't know why I do it, but I keep walking around. And by the time I, then I realize it's been half an hour. But yeah, uh, I just walk around thinking. I need to stop doing that. I'm like an old man. Anyway, uh, yeah, um, if the post, I'm gonna, like, I don't have packaging. So the post office do have packaging online. Hopefully in store, they can help me package the product because I need it wrapped in bubble wrap and also package it in a secure box. And if they can't do it, there is Royal Mail. Obviously, Royal Mail are part of, you know, you know, they're part of the same family, really. But Royal Mail, they close late, like 3.30 today, which is quite early, actually. But Royal Mail open for longer, is the point. Weekdays open from like 7 p.m. or something. Um, so if the post office can't package it, then hopefully the Royal Mail can, because I can post it through either one. Um, yeah, so let me try and get this posted and then hopefully I can watch Doctor Strange for the second time and then I want to come home, record two Ultraman reactions, stream, hopefully watch a movie from Movie Monday and then fall asleep. Hopefully that's all done by like midnight. Anyway, I've, I've got 13 hours to do all that. Yeah, it, it should be should be quite a bright day. Flat is something else. There's a lift broken. That's been broken for a little while. Last night when I came home from work, both lifts were out of order. One is working now, but it's taking too long, so I'm walking down the stairs. Like, I live in the bottom third of this flat. It's quite a tall flat. I feel bad for those last night who lived like near the top, but I'm just like, that's a lot of staircases. <laughs> It's a lot of damn staircases. Got it sorted. Um, I saw some dudes first. Um, usually the post office queues are quite long. Like I remember when I was a kid, there was queues to outside the damn post office. But I guess times have changed now. You can post things online. You can, you don't have to go to the post office. You know, you don't, it's not necessary anymore. It used to be when I was a kid, it used to be like, you had to go there if you had to like sort something out. Not just posting things, but other things as well. But now you can do a lot of things online. So it kind of makes sense. But there was not much of a queue and I got there and the guy was like, you got to buy bubble wrap. And I'm just like, you've only got a three meter roll. Have you got something small? He's like, no, we got what we got. And I don't like to argue. So I'm just like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go and buy a three meter long roll of bubble wrap, right? Along with the box. In total, that costs eight pounds, eight pounds, 20 something for the packaging. And I'm just like, uh, you can't pack package it for me. He's just like, nah, <laughs> you, you got to package it yourself. So luckily they have tables on the side, so I just, you know, did the packaging and uh, then I went back and uh, I asked them, can I borrow a pen to write down that address instead of, you know, buying sellotape. They do have pens there. They used to have pens on the side on the table. They took them off, maybe COVID or something. I don't know. They used to have free pens just to use whenever. But yeah, they give you a pen. And I wrote down the address and uh, the, the, the lady asked me, because the second time I saw someone else, so the cashier is asking me. asking me for safety purposes, obviously, what is it? I said, it's a camera. And she's like, does it have a value over 500 pounds? I'm just like, yes. She's like, what's it? 565 pounds, I said. She laughed, because it was just over, obviously, but it's more than 500. She asked if it was more than 500. I said, yes. The packaging wasn't, you know, it wasn't perfect, but I got the bubble wrap around and uh, the camera fit perfectly. Like it wasn't like loose in there for sure. Like the box was just, just over the camera. So it will hold it together. And the bubble wrap on top of that would definitely hold it together. So that's good. So I got that sorted. And, uh, but there were some gaps on the side and she offered to sell a tape the sides for me. I'm just like, thank you. So I got a special delivery, tracked. So they gave me a tracking, a tracking number on the receipt, which is good. So extra security, uh, it cost £8.65 for that delivery, which is what I, I expected that much, but I didn't expect to, to pay an extra eight pounds for the packaging itself. But yeah, special delivery. It will get there, I think, next working day. Now I guess I just gotta wait <laughs> until it gets there and uh, 
Hopefully they can fix it. Hopefully it's not too expensive to fix. Get home and the lift is there at the ground floor, ready for me. Great timing, just great timing. I've now got this three meter roller bubble wrap, or most of it anyway, because I had to buy it. <laughs> It'll be useful, I guess, for future packaging. There's a train in 14 minutes. Good thing I live near the train station. There's a cinema showing at 12.30. It's about five to 10 minute walk from the station that I arrive at, so uh, it's good. And also, um, I've been on the, on a quest to find Dairy Milk Orange. It's a new new flavor. I've been looking, I love orange chocolate, so I've been just looking to try it. I've seen it once online. I wanna see it, I wanna go in person and buy it instead of having to spend 40 pounds from groceries just to get it. Right next to the cinema, opposite, right opposite is a Morrison's. There's also a Sainsbury's next door, and uh, there's a Tesco down the road near the station. So uh, after I see the movie, if I remember, I could forget. <laughs> you know me. Uh, if I remember, <laughs> I'm gonna go and check those stores, and uh, hopefully one of them has it because I have not found it. There's an Audi there as well. There's an Audi there as well. So there's options. Asda don't have it, Lidl don't have it. Got to check, check the rest. And then like someone, someone I know told me that he found it in Spa and Co-op. I have not seen either of those near my area. I think I know where one is, but I think it's quite far. Damn it. M m maybe they don't have it in my area either. Maybe, I live in London. Like, the availability should be there, right? Right? Anyway. <laughs> Let me go and get this train. Oh, what's this? Stab it off not wearing a cap. What's going on today? I went to the post office. I took a pen with me just in case. And I couldn't find it in my pocket. And I was like, it's my pen in my pocket. But I, I just thought, oh, maybe I just, I didn't. But I thought I remember I did put it in my pocket. So I was just like, at the post office, I was so confused. I was just like, where's my pen? Where's my pen? I can't find it. I was just like, oh, I must have forgot it then. But I remember, I distinctly remember putting it in there. Right? I use their pen, right? I go back home, I, I come back out, and it falls down my trousers. There's a hole in my left pocket, in my jeans. A small hole, but enough for a pen. It was down my trousers this whole time, and it just slid out onto the floor as I was walking. It's funny, I actually work fairly close to this area. So whenever I come down this area, and it's not for work, I'm always thinking, what if one of them sees me? What if a manager sees me? Or my uh, work colleagues see me? I always wonder like, what if they see me? That would be interesting because none of them know none of them know I'm a YouTuber. You can see there's main roads here and not everyone lives close like me. People drive here. So I'm wondering like, what if a fellow worker sees me and, and they're driving in their car and there's like, why is David over there filming? What's, what's going on? What's, what, why is he there? <laughs> I think they'd be confused a bit because they'd be like, okay, I see David, but why is he recording himself? What's going on there? Because none of them know I'm a YouTuber and uh, I'm in the cinema now, by the way. And as a balance to that, I guess none of you guys know on any channel where I work. So uh, I guess, yeah, just a big balance there. But anyway, um, 10 minutes to the movie. Let me go get some uh, snacks and uh, I'll be in there. It's a YouTuber called The Flick Pick. He's got two channels, The Flick Pick and John Flick Flickinger. Um, love his channel. One of my favorite movie YouTubers. Love his reviews, love his vlog videos, movie trips, whatever. Any, anything he uploads, I enjoy watching. And he always goes on about Sour Patch Kids. Never tried them, but he always goes on about how good they are. And he always buys them at the movies. And I've never gotten them. So I thought, hey, they haven't been in the UK. I thought there was just a US thing, but actually no. There's two flavors, original and cola. I bought cola. I don't know what the difference is, to be honest. Um, but yeah, he likes them, so I thought, hey, let's try it out, <laughs> see if it's any good. But yeah, um, it's free, of course, because I'm, I'm a member, although it's a monthly payment, but if you go like three times a month, it's worth it, because after that, every time you go, it's free. This is done. Nice sunlight in the afternoon. My thoughts on this movie after second viewing, pretty much the same, pretty good. Should have been longer, could have been better. A bit underwhelming at times, but uh, Wanda was amazing. America Chavez was amazing. Characters were great. It just could have been a bit better, but uh, 
yeah i liked it a bit more i think on the second viewing definitely liked it a bit more uh some of the definitely emotional bits but i still feel like something was missing i just don't know what it is um but yeah a little bit underwhelmed shall we say and i love marvel i do love marvel like there are some movies that are not that great that are bad but i love the overall universe for a movie that's so big there was sitting well for a movie that's uh that's so big i feel like it needed more that's all um but yeah like I, I enjoy most of them there are some that i don't like that much like iron man 2 iron man 3 the first two thor movies uh guardians 2 i love guardians 1 that was great guardians 2 i didn't really like that much so a age of ultron that's an avengers movie that i didn't like so you know there are some that i don't like this one i didn't like dislike it as much as those ones but i still feel like oh a bit underwhelming i wanted something more but yeah anyway i am off to i think it's that way i'm off to sainsbury's uh, no it's that way i see it i see it off to sainsbury's to check if they got this dairy milk orange sainsbury's is an orange shop supermarket so orange su orange themed supermarket so I guess it's, it might be a good omen that they might have dairy milk orange, potentially. I don't know. We're gonna find out. We move to this area. I know it's not really worth moving like 20 minutes away, but it's so convenient, man. There's multiple big supermarkets, there's a city well. There's a McDonald's drive through a KFC drive through Where is it? Where is it? There it is. You have a Krispy Kreme drive through Where is it? It's, it's right there. Krispy Kreme drive through a drive through for donuts. They have this right here. Then you've got a retail park where there's sports clothing stores and next. It's right there, a Krispy Kreme with a drive through a drive through for donuts. Nando's, I don't like Nando's though. There's a Subway, there's a Smith's Toys. They sell PS5s there. I mean, I don't know if them has got stock right now, but they sell gaming things. Uh, not quite as good as Hamley's, which is an elite London toy store, but uh, they got Smith's here, you know. They got Costa Coffee. There's a Starbucks inside the Cineworld World if you prefer Starbucks. You know, they've got they got a shop called Pets. Can you buy pets there? Always wanted a pet. I wasn't allowed one as a kid. Uh, went to Audi first, actually. They didn't have it. This is right next to the building of the old Toys R Us. Huge building. I used to go in, I was a kid all the time. Used to go in there just to ride around on the little toys and bicycles. To play in there all the time. And then they had to shut down in the UK. Apparently there's a rumor they might return. They're still around in some parts of the world, but in the UK they had to shut down all their stores. They went bankrupt. Very sad story, very sad story. Them and Woolworths as well. Woolworths more of a stationary shop, but miss them too but Toys R Us especially massive childhood memory and the building is still here no one's bought it it's just there an abandoned building just the whole warehouse space if I was rich I'd buy it <laughs> imagine what you can do with all that space I don't think Smith's Toys have it I don't think Sports Direct have it not Halfords not Pet Mr Scoop I don't think so there's a next over there shall we ask Reno yeah I don't think they sell chocolate you see, that, that is all Toys R Us. Or well, used to be anyway. You, everything you could want as a kid was in that place. You don't even have to buy anything. You can just go in there and play around with a lot of things that they just, you know, had ready. They had gaming accessories as well. But I'd always go to the, uh, the, the little bikes and quad bikes they had, kids versions, where you can just press a pedal and drive them. So good, man. I think I bought a bicycle there though. But I never learned to, like, to ride a bike which is uh, quite quite funny. You, you might find it quite funny, but I never learned. Never had anyone to teach me. I bought a bike and it just sat there collecting dust, but it's kind of sad because it's a part of my childhood and not only is the company gone, the damn place they used for this branch, it's not been used at all. It's just a ghost town now. They even opened a new toy store, Smith's over there, using a different building. Like what's, 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 what's going on? As I was speaking, I've just walked into the car park of Sainsbury's because it's that close. Um, they have an Argos inside as well. I don't think they sell chocolate. So, <laughs> I mean, Sainsbury's do. Aldi, do. Aldi had plenty of chocolate, just not that one. They don't even have dairy milk. By the way, Aldi is the fanciest supermarket I've ever seen in my life. 
I've never been inside a supermarket. I, I mean, sorry, I've never been inside an Audi supermarket, right? You go in there, it smells nice, it looks futuristic. The baskets you pull like a suitcase, they have wheels. The baskets have wheels. You don't need to carry them. Baskets with wheels. I've not seen that in Asda or Tesco or Morrison's or Sainsbury's, right? Not even Waitrose. You go into Audi, the baskets have wheels. You never have, you never, you never have to carry anything. It's like, it's like pulling hum, hand luggage. Habit. Sainsbury's habit. What on earth is this? Water filling station? What? I don't think it's for cars. That's interesting. <laughs> Never seen that before. I think what you find going outside, I should explore more. I like exploring European cities. I mean, I've explored London plenty, but mainly the city. I don't really explore much of my side of London. Anyway, uh, yeah, um, I'm going to miss the train. I either get a bus or wait for the next train. I just saw someone from work. It wasn't someone who was going to work, it was someone on a day off. I saw them in the supermarket. I was kind of trying to avoid that. Basically, I went into Morrison's just to double check. If I had went there, would they have had dairy milk orange? They did. They had like two left, but there was like a small compartment, it was there. So, they're telling me everyone has it except the one next to me, Asda. Ridiculous. I'm, I'm just gonna go check Tesco. <laughs> just, just to confirm my theory. Suspicions have been confirmed. Tesco also have dairy milk orange. So you're telling me out of the big four supermarkets in the UK, the one that doesn't have it is the one next to me. Asda. I, I, I feel like there's a conspiracy against my area. The FA Cup final is today. Chelsea v Liverpool kicks off in half an hour. Then we're going to watch it. I usually enjoy the FA Cup final. I usually watch it. Um, it's usually quite a good game. I don't mind who wins this year, to be honest. I'm not really that fast. I just want to see a good football match. So, uh, I'm going to watch that. Guy over pot just asked me if I could donate some coins to uh, mental health. Um, the only coins I had were euros. So I told him, like, I got euros, you want euros? I've been trying to get rid of them since I got back from Italy. But for some reason, money exchange wouldn't take back coins. I'm just like, I got euros. You want those coins? He's like, no. Fair enough. I haven't got any other coins, so... <laughs> the way I didn't finish the Sour Patch Kids, they're, they're alright, but I should have bought the uh, the other one that had more flavours, instead I bought one that had one flavour. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I don't get John's hype about it, to be honest, but it's not bad. Um, I need to try the other one, though. Right, let's see if the days of trying to find this was worth it. Yes, definitely worth it. Oh yes, it's what I imagined. Beautiful. A cup of squash that I got, well, I got this cup from uh, my Austin membership pack. Yeah, I'm not going to take my fingers off. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and I'm about to watch the FA Cup final. So it's about to kick off. Hopefully it's a good game. Then I can record some video, stream, and uh, watch a movie and go to bed. It's a nice Saturday. The FA Cup final is both on BBC and ITV this year. Normally, it's one channel or the other, right? Like, depends on who has the rights. They both, they both have the rights now? Actually, I think they do. I think BT Sport lost it, right? Ah, that makes sense. It kind of feels like an international tournament. You know, having the final on two different channels and you get to choose based on which commentary you like better. But normally, BBC, because they have no adverts. Surprise! <laughs> it's currently 1.41 a.m. I have finished streaming. I didn't do the ultimate reactions and I didn't do much else. I didn't watch a movie either. I'm not gonna vlog Sunday, but on Sunday I'm hoping to uh, do a lot of recording, literally like the whole day. Then I'm back to work on Monday. So uh, I will See you soon.